Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am doing the face off between Tarte Double Duty Beauty and the Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation on my left, your right. And I am using the Tarte Shape Tape Matte Foundation, my right, your left. So we are gonna do an all day wear test. I have put on my makeup, my blush, etc. So the hydrating foundation does give the skin a nice dewy look as you put it on. The matte foundation does exactly what it says. It is more of a matte. So my first impressions are it went on really nice. Overall, I do have some dry patches around my nose and you know, it didn't do too bad overall in my little dry area. So I can't complain so far. Um, it is definitely a dewy versus a matte. My makeup set on it very nice, so I had no problems once I powdered, etc., putting on makeup. And um, hoping that we'll see how this does by the end of a work business day. So it's probably going to be an 8 to 10 hour wear test. We are going to see how these bad boys hold up. So if you want to see how this found, these foundations square off against each other, then you're gonna have to stay tuned. Oh, side note, um, the coverage seems to be kind of light. I was kind of shocked at how light it was going on, so I did have to put on more foundation than I had expected to. So just be prepared if you have uh, skin like mine that has a lot of redness or you've got a lot of discoloration, realize you're gonna have to put more of that foundation on than what you would normally expect to. But once it went on, I didn't use color correctors, etc. Once it went on, it was fine, but I just wasn't expecting to use what felt like a lot of foundation at the time. So anyways, if y'all have used this foundation, you have any thoughts, um, please put those below because I'm really curious how this foundation worked on other ladies' skin types. Mine is an oily combo. Lately, it's been oily except for the edges of my nose, which tend to be really dry right now. So I'm not sure what's going on with my skin once again, but it, it acts up like this every so often. So not really surprised there. But anyways, if you want to see how this foundation performs or these foundations perform, you got to stay tuned. I think I might do the hydrating foundation on my left, your right and the matte foundation on my right, your left. So we're gonna see how this bad boy does. The colors I got were fair, light, neutral. So let's hope that works. Ooh, I didn't expect, okay. I did not expect a big wand. I guess they are going with the shape tape look. I'm not even sure how much I should put on. We don't like light coverage. Okay, it took out the redness. Definitely needed more than I had anticipated. So now let's try the matte version. All right, that just shot everywhere. Okay, using the other side of the sponge. You already have a copy? No. No? Uh-uh. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, so the difference so far is this does have more of a dewier glow on the hydrating side. The matte side is definitely more matte than the other side. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna finish putting on my makeup. Okay, y'all, we'll so it is about 12, 14 hours later and I just almost went and took off my makeup and realized, oh my gosh, I needed to do this part of the end of day wear test. So this is my makeup after 14 hours and I had pulled off my false eyelashes. So as soon as I pulled them off, I was like, oh, I gotta go film. I do that so often where I get to the end of the day after a long day like this and I'm just like, please get this stuff off my face. And then I've got to redo the video over and over again. So long story short, I remembered at the last minute. And let's check this out. Cause like this is 14 hours and 
get this. I did not touch up. Mm -mm. I didn't blot. I didn't touch up. I did nothing. I worked. I sweated. And yeah, here we are. So I'm almost afraid to do a real close one. Not for any other reason than y'all get to see how bad my skin is even worse. All right. So autofocus and I'm so technology savvy. Ugh. Don't judge. Don't judge. I do this for you. I do this for you. So let's check it out. I'll check it out with you guys. So at the end of 14 hours, you can kind of see how it broke away right here. It looks like my highlighter stuck really good. By the way, that was Makeup Geek. Um, I do have some pulling away over here on my nose. It, it has stuck in the dry patches. Again, this is 14 hours, y'all. Around my lips is dry. And if you can see, my chin is drier and it's kind of sticking in those patches. So let's smooth that out, shall we? On my forehead, again, it's kind of pulling apart a little bit right in here. So matte versus hydrating. So what's the difference at the end of the day? So here's the hydrating side. It looks a little oily and pulled apart. Now let's look at the matte side. Stick it in the dry patches. To be honest, I don't know that I really notice a difference between the oily side and, excuse me, the matte side and the hydrating side. Like if, okay, so in the morning when I did this, let's, let's back this out because I feel way too close to y'all or you feel way too close to me and that's not a good look after 14 hours. Okay, so this morning when I put it on, again, the foundation felt like it was um, very light. And so I think it's good for those women that don't have as much issues with their skin as I do, or men. So for me, I've got to go with a more medium to high coverage foundation. So this morning I put it on and it just didn't go, it didn't cover as much, so I did have to use more than I thought I would have. But once I built up the color, it was fine. Now, in the morning when I first put it on, I could tell a difference between hydrating and matte. There was a look to the skin. This one was a little bit more dewy, and this obviously was more matte. But as the day wore on, I couldn't tell a difference. So it's not like the matte side stayed matte and the dewy side stayed dewy. Like, the matte side caught up with the dewy. So as far as at the end of the day i don't see a big difference or even like i said after a couple hours of wearing it there was no difference between hydrating and matte they were identical so i think if you're looking at maybe doing family pictures or you want a matte look immediately then okay fine um if you want a, a dewy look immediately once again okay fine but by as the day wears on they're they're kind of identical I mean, I wouldn't know what side that I put it on had I not done it myself. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the 14 hours, we did go out to dinner tonight. Technically, it is Valentine's Day. And, you know, Rob couldn't see my makeup in all these creases and cracks because the lighting was dim. So, you know, that worked for me. But again, at the end of 14 hours, I don't think it did bad. But for women that have dry skin, you're gonna have to worry about how it picks up in the dry skin. And again, it did break apart in spots, but after 14 hours, I've seen other foundations break apart way worse than this one did. I really don't think for all the hype that there is a true 24 hour foundation. I think it's a great selling tool because we keep hoping that there is a 24 hour foundation, but so far there really isn't any. Long story short, I'm hoping today helps you purchase or see the difference between the Tarte Shape Tape Matte and the Tarte Shape Tape Hydration Foundation Double Duty Beauty. 
Again, if you guys have used these, please put your comments or questions below. I'm dying to hear from you. Um, I want to see who's used what on what type of skin. Again, mine is Combo Oily with, with a little bit of dry patch this week. So I would like to hear how this is performing. Thank you so much you. for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. So if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.